praise to Jesus Christ, now and forever, Jesus is King. This is Timothy Flanders, and this is a message for the Fellowship of St. Anthony. I want to make clear to everybody the Lenten plan and what we're doing, because I'm sorry, I, I haven't been clear. I apologize. Um, so if you're watching this and you have not joined the Fellowship of St. Anthony, this will also explain how you can join, why you should join, what we're doing. You can join up for all the Meaning of Catholic members for Lent. So here is the Fellowship of St. Anthony. It is our, our online community uses Telegram. If you're not on Telegram, uh, you're missing out on some of the community, but I understand um, technology and whatnot. I, I have a hard time figuring out all the little features of Telegram even now. Uh, but the good thing about Telegram is that you can use it on your phone, but you can also use it on your computer. So if you're trying to cut down on smartphone usage, you can use it on your computer. So that's helpful as well. Um, so this is what it looks like. It um, Here's the Fellowship of St. Anthony. Uh, it We currently have 107 members. This is the spiritual core of this whole apostolate. And we offer up penances for the clergy. That is the, that is the main purpose and intention of the Fellowship of St. Anthony. Um, so if you go over here and you, you can click right here on this description right here in the middle of the, of the group, you also get this in the welcome message when you join the group and you can join the group at the link below, by the way, if you want to join the group at any time during this video. Um, but what this is basically, let me explain. Here's the breakdown. Um, there is a base requirement for this group, which is a tier one penance for the whole fellowship. Um, the um so tier one requirement is contained at this link and this is the penance that we're all agreeing to do together and it's not too hard you can do it this is tier one which is vegetarian diet monday wednesday friday of lent and no alcohol for the duration of lent excluding sundays no sweets Drinks are sugar-free coffee or tea or water, and also fasting Wednesdays and Fridays. And then we pray the Our Father every day, and we pray the, the prayer to avert God's wrath every day. Those are the prayers that we pray every day during Lent. That's tier one. That's what we all agree to. That's the base requirement. In addition... We play, we play weekly the stairs of the, the stations of the cross and at least weekly a daily uh, weekly rosary. We also read the daily mass readings and we read the life of St. Anthony at your own pace. So if you have if you've never read it, read it, read it at your own pace. Um, you know, we're not counting that you read it at a certain pace, um, giving alms and you keep it all a secret. Now, there's the tier two option. So last year, if you did tier one time to get on to tier two. Tier two is you do a vegan diet for the entire entirety of Lent. This is really upping your game. So you you know fish for the entirety of Lent, including Sundays. And you maintain your fast Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And you pray a daily rosary. And there's a, an additional black fast on Ash Wednesday and, and Good Friday. Now, the important thing to remember is that this is all a voluntary penance. So you're voluntarily offering up this penance for God, for the intentions of the apostolate, to avert God's wrath, offering up in reparation to for bad clergy, offering up in supplication for good clergy. That's the whole fellowship. That's the whole point of this fellowship. It's the core of our apostolate because our apostolate is a lay apostolate seeking to be lay people, do lay stuff, unite Catholics against the enemies of the Holy Church. The chief enemies of the Holy of Holy Church are the world, the flesh, and the devil. But the secondary enemies are how those things are incarnated through actual people who become enemies. And we need to convert those people. But as lay people, we offer up this spiritual penance for the sake of the clergy, because the clergy have a serious job to do, and many of them are not doing it. And it's not, not, not as bad. Or it's, it's even worse than that because many of them are are in fact enemies of Holy Church. We've got enemies of the Holy Church among the clergy who are wicked men destroying the church. And we want to convert those men so, one, they don't go to hell and they don't lead others to hell. 
And so we are praying the prayer to avert God's wrath because we believe that in suffering, we need to see that this is God's wrath and we need to avert his wrath by doing penance and, and reparation for these sins. So that's the whole purpose of this fellowship. That's the whole intention of this whole thing. And that's that's what forms the spiritual core of this apostolate. So let's continue on for the other aspects of this. Um, we talked about, so we talked about tier one, tier two option, and then we have three optional challenges on top of that. So optional annual Bible reader. That's also the link when you get the welcome message. This is the annual Bible reader. So some of us are taking on this as well. And that's the annual Bible reading. So you, so you read the entire Bible once a year. There's also the Psalms. And I need to add that link because there's three options for the Psalms as well. But in Lent, we go through the Pentateuch. We get through the entire Pentateuch. We get into Joshua and Judges. Um, and by the first or the second Sunday after Pentecost, we are entering into uh, First Kingdoms, a.k.a. First Samuel. So we go through, we start in Genesis and we go all the way through Second Chronicles, which ends later in the summer. So this is the big, huge narrative chunk in the Holy Scripture, but it also goes through all this other stuff. So anyways, this is optional as well. So some of us are doing this, some of them are not, but that's optional. And then there's the optional challenge, 15 minutes of daily mental prayer. That's also an optional challenge. Um, that's something that I'm taking on definitely because I, I've just had a really a big struggle with mental prayer. So something that I need to work on. And um at the end of this video, we're going to read the introduction to mental prayer from the book that I'll be using. And you can use that if you'd like. And then I want to clarify this part too. There's an optional challenge of spiritual reading. Now this will be, um, this is the spiritual reading challenge for Lent that we presented last week. So um, this spiritual reading challenge is challenging both sides of the trad communio type debate. Um, and so for trads, you need to read Cardinal Seurat's Power of Silence. This is a book that will kick you in the teeth spiritually. Um, so again, this is an optional challenge, and we're presenting this optional challenge to the public um, as a part of our mission at Meaning of Catholics. So for trads, uh, Power of Silence will really challenge trads because Cardinal Seurat is a uh, hardcore Vatican II prelate, but he is also extremely spiritually on point with this text. Uh, in fact, I, when I read this text for the, I haven't even finished it cause it's so deep. It's thick as brick. It's, it's fantastic. Um, when I first started reading it, it was just, just blew me away. Like every sentence you can just meditate on for three weeks. It's just absolutely phenomenal text. So trads read Cardinal Seurat power of silence conservatives if you are a communal guy john paul ii guy read thomas Akempis uh, meditations on death this is the new translation that just came out from tan um here, let me put it up on the screen here i think i can release this most of this video publicly so we'll probably release it to the public so this is the this is the text that you need to read if you are a communal guy Another fantastic text. So thank you, Tan, for putting this out. A new translation from a Kempis, never been brought into English. Um, so this text, this is for the Communio people. And then the second challenge for Communio people is to read the Latin Missal. Le read the Latin Missal prayers. You can go to IPATA app uh, or divinumofficium.com to access these prayers for free. Or you can buy a Missal, but that's kind of expensive. So if you don't want to buy a missile, you can read these online. And this will challenge you because you may be wondering, why are trads so up in arms about the Latin mass? Why are trads so fussy about this Latin mass? Can't they just get on board with the Novus Ordo? Great question. Well, an easy way to answer that question is for you yourself to do your own research and to read the prayers of the Latin missile. And if you want, you can compare them with the Novus Ordo. But if you just read for Lent the prayers of the Latin missile, you read the daily readings and you read the collect, the pre-communion, the post-communion. You will see the difference. You will see how powerful 
at how much they talk about fasting, for example, first of all, talk about fasting. They talk about averting God's wrath. The prayer to avert God's wrath is from Ash when the Thursday, the mass of Thursday after Ash Wednesday from the Latin mass. Um, those types of prayers are diminished in the new mass. It's just a fact. Um, and so that might give you an idea as to why are the trads so fussy about the Latin mass. So this is the spiritual reading challenge. So the spiritual reading challenge is that show. When you see this thumbnail, that show, I will do that show publicly and I will simply reflect on both of these readings of the Latin mass. I will do that every week, God willing, in Lent, as a part of the mission of this apostolate to challenge both sides of this modern debate in the Roman Rite. And then in Paschal Tide, I've already, this is <laughs> this is helping my own self because I really need help. I want to reread this text, Dif difficulties in mental prayer, because I have a lot of difficulties in mental prayer, and maybe you also have some. <laughs> um, and uh, it's this is a fantastic text, but I have never really put it into practice and I really want to work on mental prayer. So I'm going to read this as well to all of y'all and y'all can, we can discuss it. So I hope that's helpful through Paschal Tide. Um, because one of the difficulties is one of the difficulties is actually, um, getting, uh, it's difficult enough to get a discipline for land. And then one of the things I've struggled with is continuing the mystagogy into Paschal Tide. Paschal Tide, Lent is 46 days, including Sundays, because we do we do penance on Sundays too. We do abstinence on Sundays. Traditionally, you, you abstain from meat on Sundays, you, but you don't fast on Sundays. Um, so the six Sundays of Lent, so you take out the fasting days of Sunday, but you still abstain. That's 40 full days of, of fasting. Um, but the, the things that I struggle with is, is that mystagogy and Paschal Tide. There's 46 days of Lent and there's 50 days of Paschal Tide. So it's easy to lose your zeal in Paschal Tide so that you don't have that long-term spiritual benefit. So I'm going to try to keep myself on track by reading this text in Paschal Tide. So I hope that helps you too. Now, for spiritual reading...